joy to the world. Since the very beginning, when people chose to turn from God, the world has been a dark place. Things fall apart, people face pain, brokenness, and difficult times. God knew how desperately all of mankind needed hope, rescue. He knew that the world needed a reason to choose joy. So, God planned an incredible gift. Now you and I know that something like that can't be put inside a box, but maybe this will help us think about the story. I love to tell it again and again to every generation. He had whispered about it to prophets and poets over hundreds of years. But the very first person to discover that God's gift to the world was just about to be delivered was a girl named Mary. Mary was an ordinary teenager living in the ordinary town of Nazareth in the middle of nowhere special. And yet God chose her. He sent an angel with an incredible message. Mary, the Lord has blessed you in a special way. You will become pregnant and give birth to his son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just the way you said it would. God's son, this ordinary girl would become the mom of God's son. Joy, fear, and confusion hit her all at once. But she knew this was a gift from God. But God had promised that his son, the rescuer, would be born in Bethlehem, not Nazareth. A short time before the baby was going to be born, Mary and the man she was engaged to marry, Joseph, took a road trip. By the time Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, the baby was ready to be born. But the town was full. Everyone else had come home to Bethlehem too. They probably checked with every one of Joseph's relatives but no one had any room to spare. Every space was taken. Hey, wait. Except, it turned out there was a spot. available space in Bethlehem was a room share with the animals. The king of all kings would be born in a barn. Not what you're expecting, right? It's not what anyone was expecting. It was so much more. God had already made it clear that his gift was not just for one or two people, though. That night, he sent another message. There were shepherds in the fields outside of Bethlehem, watching their sheep all night. They were sleepy, maybe a little bored, when, you guessed it, an angel showed up. Don't be afraid. I have good news that will bring great joy to everybody. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born. He's the Messiah, the Lord. You will know I'm telling the truth, but you'll find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Those shepherds jumped right up and ran straight to Bethlehem to see God's gift. And they weren't the only ones. God sent the news of his gift far and wide. He posted a notice high up in the sky. A lot of people saw that shining new star. 
But one group of wise scholars knew that it meant something very special. Through study of prophecy, they knew the star told of a brand new king. These scholars lived far to the east, but they too set out on a long journey to Bethlehem, bringing gifts fit for a king. The gift that everyone was waiting for was delivered. God's gift to the world came in unexpected packaging. It came to an unexpected place. He brought together the most ragtag mix of people you could imagine. And over time, all of them stood in awe of God's amazing gift, Jesus, God's Son. Joy to the world! That's right, the greatest gift of all. God sent his one and only son, Jesus, into this world to die on a cross for our sins. And we get to celebrate that because it's Christmas. That's right, Christmas is only a couple days away. It is this Friday, it's coming up. Aren't you excited, Christmas? Woohoo! yay! I'm so excited and God sent the greatest gift of all. And it's pretty cool that we get to celebrate and we get gifts and we get to give gifts. And I just wanna share with you guys some cool Christmas cards that I received before I send it over to John and Brian for the so-and-so show. I just, I wanna show you some cool cards I got. So I got this one from Courtney Thurlow. It's not a Christmas card necessarily, but it says this side up. It's a homemade card, pretty cool. Check it out. It's got a basketball in there. It says, party Nehemiah. So that's really, really cool. Thank you, Courtney. Merry Christmas to you guys. <laughs> Wonderful, I appreciate that very much. There's some other cards as well from our Christmas card scavenger hunt that I got um, from the Lunas, Merry Christmas, Season's Greetings from the Schwab Hours, another one here from the Matthews, pretty cool stuff, and then a very special Christmas card. This Christmas card right here I got from Christmas Carl. That's right, last week you guys remember Christmas Carl singing. So I'm gonna open up this card from Christmas Carl. It's a pretty cool card and I'm really excited about it. So check out this card from Christmas Carl. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your branches. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. So green in summertime, bada bada bam. Oh, Tannenbaum, bada Christmas tree. Merry Christmas from Christmas Carol and the family. Whoa, Christmas tree, Christmas tree. Pokey, 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 pokey. Christmas tree, Merry Christmas. Well, thanks Christmas Carl. We really appreciate the Christmas card. Anyway, that's kind of a weird Christmas card, but I guess it's on to the so-and-so show now with John and Brian. Merry Christmas, everybody. We'll see you guys next year. Bye. Brandon, grab some swim trunks and meet me outside for some fun in the sun. Oh boy. Brandon, come on over here. I just threw some hot dogs on the grill. John, what are you doing? Well, we've been cooped up inside for so long, I thought we might as well come out here and take advantage of the beautiful weather. It's like 12 degrees. Temperature is a construct. 
Okay, seriously, John, what is your plan here? Is yeah, you've not... heard of Christmas in July, right? Well, I wanted to do J July Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. Buy yourself some lemonade. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's frozen. Uh, yeah, it's summer. It's frozen lemonade. You're the one who's going to be frozen if you don't get out of here. Come on. All right, let, let me get you a coat at least, okay? Here you go, buddy. I feel great. Yeah. You're strong, Brandon. You work out. I warned you. John. And welcome to The So-and-So Show. Hey, Christmas Day is just a few days away, and we wanted to wish you a very Merry Christmas from all of us here at the show. Hey, John, what's one of your favorite Christmas traditions? Uh, the lighting of the Yule Log. Really? Mm -hmm. That didn't turn out so well for you last year. <sighs> what are you doing, oh. John? Hey, Brandon. Hey. Uh, Longbeard Carl cut this limb down, and I thought I'd use it for the annual Yule Log. Oh. <laughs> You don't have a fireplace. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Brandon, hold on a what? second. Ah. Hey! Brandon, there's a squirrel back here! What is your whole family? Hey, cute little squirrel family. How you doing there in the tree? Hey, hey, you. No, no. No, stay back. No. Oh, no! Oh! No! No, no! Let it burn! Ah, get it off! Get it off! It's on my eyes! Ah! Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, I forgot all about that. <clears throat> Squirrel, where? One of my favorite Christmas traditions is the Christmas card, but we decided this year we were gonna do living Christmas cards, so let's see what we got. Okay, yeah. Oh, here's one from Longbeard Carl. Oh, Longbeard Carl. Oh, this should be interesting. And it should be fun. Festive. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what else we got. Uh, okay. Oh, here's one. Oh, here's one from the So and So Show player. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here but also when it's cold and drear. Oh, Christmas tree! Thy leaves are so unchanging. So moving. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, you know, uh, another one of my favorite things to do at Christmas is to reach out to the people I love and tell them I am thankful for them. All right, let's call some people. Okay. Me, you want yeah, me to do pull it? pull up my contact list, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yep. got it. And just scroll through it. Oh, I see what we're doing, okay. Hey, I'm having trouble putting this on my face. You got it, scrolling. Yeah, here we go, yeah, yeah. Scrolling, yeah. Okay, scrolling. and stop. Great, you are now calling a random person. Okay, oh no. What? Hello? It's Sugar Tilt a Whirl. The cotton candy lady? Yes. Yikes. Hello, Sugar. Wow, if it isn't Brandon and the one with the hat. It's John. I know. <laughs> uh, are you still in the cotton candy business, sugar? You ever been to a carnival in December? I haven't. Eat a lot of cotton candy around the Yule Log, do ya? No, but I, I thought- Business is slow is what I'm saying. We're so sorry. What are you sorry for? It's not your business. Your business is sitting there and talking. You can do that year round. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to I've say launched a new business for Christmas. Uh, what is your business? Everyone loves singing telegrams, right? Sure they do. <laughs> no, they don't, John. Everyone hates singing telegrams. They're obnoxious and invasive. 
Okay. So I came up with a new kind of telegram just in time for the holidays. Want to buy one? Uh, sure, I'll take one. That'll be twelve ninety nine. I accept Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Ethereum. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, all right, there. Thanks. Come in. Thank you for your purchase of Sugar Tilt to World Screaming Yellowgram. Why sing when you can yell? Dear Brandon and the other one. I hope your Christmas is filled with good tidings and silent nights. Stop. I hope you get everything you wished for, unless you wished for cotton candy, because I'm not doing that right now. We talked about this. Stop. Happy Christmas to you both. You are the only friends I have. Stop. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Huh? Uh, but here's something we should all expect. Huh? It's Bible story time with Kellen! Scott? What is up, good people? Just getting our Christmas cheer on. I like it. Hey, Kellen, what's one of your favorite Christmas traditions? Oh, I am a huge fan of giving gifts. Oh, I love getting gifts. I think he said giving. Right. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love getting a good gift, but there's really something special about finding that unexpected surprise to give someone you love. It's really cool. I also love telling today's Bible story every year. So let's take a look at the book of Luke and the unexpected surprise that God gave to the world. Lights? It happened like this. Caesar Augustus made a law, a decree, a census would be taken, which meant everyone in the Roman world would be counted. Hear ye, hear ye, I, Caesar, declare, no, I decree, everyone in the Roman world is to be counted. You must return to your hometown to be listed, and so it has been said, and so it will be so. Joseph was engaged to Mary, who was pregnant and about to give birth. When he heard the emperor's decree, he knew he had to travel to his hometown. And so, Joseph and Mary began their journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, the town of David. The journey probably took them several days. So think about that next time you want to complain about driving a few hours to visit your grandparents. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, there was no place for them to stay. Hey, we need a place to stay for the night. Sorry, guest rooms are all full. Please, Mary is about to have a baby. Isn't there anything you can do? Not unless you want to sleep over there. We'll take it. So Mary and Joseph stayed near the animals in a cave or a stable of some kind. While they were there, Mary gave birth to a baby boy. There was no bed, so Mary wrapped the baby in large strips of cloth and placed him in the manger. The manger was a feeding trough for animals. The baby, of course, would be called Jesus, and he was the Son of God, and he would one day become the Savior of the world, a very humble and unexpected gift on that first Christmas, the best present any of us could ever ask for. And that is the Christmas story. Wow. Yeah, that was great, huh. right? I love this story. There's so much going on at Christmas, getting gifts and going to parties, seeing family and friends, Christmas movies, all the really good things. But the Christmas story reminds us that God loves us so much that he sent his son for us. And that's what Christmas is all about. Merry Christmas, Kellen. Merry Christmas, fellas. See you later. Later. I love that Christmas all started with a gift, God's gift of his son to the world. Hey, maybe that's why we give gifts for Christmas, to remind everyone of that very first gift. I think you're right, John. Ah. So, reveal the question.
What are you giving this Christmas? Yeah, we love to talk about what we're getting for Christmas, but what are you giving? You can give someone your time. You can give someone something unexpected. Mm-hmm. Herb crusted goat cheese. Uh -huh. Were you expecting it? No, I was not. Mmm. Huh. Mm-hmm. You can give someone your love with your actions, your words, and that can point people to God who loved them so much he sent us his son. Yeah. Talk about it with each other. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Merry Christmas! Christmas. You want a bite? I don't. Mm -hmm. Jingle bells! Jingle bells! Jingle all the way!